And now, set to make his way to the ring, the Italian sensation, Phil LaGreco. And as Marv just mentioned, earlier this week, Phil LaGreco, age 30, got that phone call. Can you be ready to fight on Saturday night and replace Roberto Garcia? LaGreco lives in Toronto. He was born there. He'd been training in Vegas, helping prepare Jesse Vargas for an upcoming fight. Said it took about 30 seconds for him to agree to this fight. And he said yesterday, this is his golden opportunity. Almost gave up boxing altogether a couple of years ago after he lost to Sean Porter. Did a little bit of acting, became a personal trainer, but now he is back in the ring. Now making his way to the ring, Errol, the truth, Spence Jr. And there is the 2012 Olympian who represented the United States in the London Games. Told us he didn't know anything about LaGreco before this week. He's not phased by the late change in opponent. Faced a lot of unfamiliar foes regularly as an amateur and also early in his pro career. Says this is his coming out party. A win tonight would lead to a fight against a more established opponent and then perhaps a shot at a championship. Errol Spence Jr. making his way into the ring at the MGM Grand Garden. And now the tale of the tape being brought to you by Corona. You see the weights. Spence was expecting to fight at 147 against Garcia, but now with the short notice for LaGreco, his weight yesterday of 152 is deemed okay for tonight. And the rules. If the fight is stopped because of an accidental foul before four rounds are complete, it will be a no decision. Should anything controversial arise, we have Hall of Fame referee Steve Smoger standing by with us. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand Garden Arena from Las Vegas live on NBC. This is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins now with 10 rounds in the welterweight division. At ringside, your three judges, Burt Clements, Lisa Giampa, and Robert Hoyle. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge, Robert Bird. And now introducing the red corner, Wearing the royal blue, his professional record, 26 victories, just one defeat, 14 wins by way of knockout from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Introducing the Italian sensation, Phil LaGreco. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the black red and gold the 2012 u.s olympian as a professional stands undefeated at 16 and 0 13 victories coming by way of knockout from desoto texas introducing errol the truth spence jr Okay, gentlemen, I gave you instructions in the dressing room. The only thing I'm going to remind you of now, when I tell you stop, what that means is stop whatever you're doing. Give me a clean break. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Gentlemen, let's do this. Paul LaBrecco did not expect to be here in the ring tonight, but here he is facing a man who has come up with seven of his 16 knockouts in the first round. Only two of his bouts have lasted beyond round five. And Earl Spence, born and raised DeSoto, Texas, a southern suburb of Texas. Record of 16 and 0, 13 by knockout. 
Aside from the fact it is a last-minute situation for LaGreco, how difficult will it be facing a Southpaw, BJ? You know, I don't think it's going to be too difficult. LaGreco, he knows use how it. to fight. He knows uh, he's got a great amateur experience, amateur pedigree, so he knows how to fight Southpaws. He fought for the Italian national team and the Canadian national team, so he's been there before, Marv. And you see those punches thrown by LaGreco. I mean, those are the right punches to the body. Really try to bring those hands down. Those looping, those looping right hands are really effective against a, a, uh, a fighter of any uh, style. LaGreco in the blue. And Spence in the black. The last left-hander LaGreco faced, Hector Orozco, over three years ago. LaGreco won by decision over Orozco, although Orozco did knock him down. Before that, he faced only one other lefty that was three years back. And Marv, I don't think it's any surprise that, you know, Logreco is definitely the under underdog in this fight, but I think it's very important for him to come out and get an early and a quick start. No one expects him to do well against Errol Spence, so if he comes out there and really puts the pressure and can catch Spence with a couple big shots early, it could work to his advantage. And what happens with fighters like, like Spence is the fact that he is a letdown when he fights a, a, a lower caliber fighter. So he has to stay sharp and stay alert. Yeah, Ray, sometimes it can be very difficult to get up for a replacement opponent. So we'll uh, see how Spence's focus is tonight. But so far, it looks pretty sharp in this first round. Spence in his last fight back in April at Barclays in Brooklyn. Fourth round TKO over Samuel Vargas, who had come in at, at 20 and 1. One thing intelligent that LoGreco is doing, he's moving to his left side away from the left hand of Errol Spence. He's also keeping his lead left hand kind of out front, trying to distract Spence's jab a little bit. So good stuff. Nice left hand by Spencer. Well, they have to be very careful. Spence, in particular, has to be very careful of, of, an, of an unintentional headbutt because of the way they're coming in. And the referee, Robert Bird, steps between the fighters. Bird, a 32-year veteran. He's handled eight world title fights over the, the past year. Stop. Stop, stop. The Greco try to muck things up here Good. at the Let's end go. of the first round. Well, we've been talking about Errol Spence making it to the U.S. Olympic team. There's a rich tradition of Olympic boxing in the United States. Three years ago, Spence got to experience it for himself. As an amateur, Spence, a three-time U.S. national amateur welterweight champion, won the National Golden Gloves welterweight title back in, in 2009. Steve Farhood, our unofficial score, added a 10 9 round for Spence in round one. Phil Greco looking to use the stiff arm method to keep, to keep the distance with Spence. Well, Spence's corner gave some great advice uh, to the fighter. Told him, don't, you know, just don't get frustrated because he can't just knock this guy out. <laughs> this guy's here to stay. He's a tough guy. You know, he went 10 rounds with Sean Porter Ray, so he's definitely a credible guy. But, you know, if you're in the corner of Phil Logreco, you got to be happy with how that first round went. He landed oh. some good shots, but, uh, you know, Errol Spence started to pick it up now. Body shots that landed from Spence. Let's go to Daniel Jacobs. Daniel. Hey, Marv. Well, I was talking to Errol Spence's dad. And they seem to be trying to figure out how to get inside with that left hand. He's, Phil Greco was keeping that left hand out. They're trying to get double jab. He's keep telling outside. them to double jab to close the distance because every time he comes in, he either headbutts or he's unsuccessful. So he's trying to double jab, keep it stiff, keep it firm, and he'll be able to have more success with that jab. Double it up, double it up. And here, the word from Spencer's corner to double up on those blows, which he's been doing. Has been landing. Well, those body shots that Spence is throwing, those shots bring those hands down. Nice shot, Platinum. 
great point, Ray. Those body shots are so good that he can actually split the guard. He's making Phil O'Greco lower his hand, and he's able to get in position to land that beautiful left uppercut because of those body shots. And now going to the head successfully, and then back to the body. LaGreco comes in 26 and 1, 14 by knockouts, and his one loss, as we've talked about earlier back in May of 2013, losing that 10 round decision to Sean Porter. And LaGreco knocked out of that fight twice. And more of Errol Spence told us yesterday in the fighter meetings, you know, even as an amateur, he's always had more of a pro style. You see him digging those body shots in the first two rounds. He's really, uh, you know, making us believers tonight with those body shots. On balance, good leverage. Great shot to the midsection. Yeah, that beginning to take its toll. Oh, a right hand by Spence that lands. That one hurt Logreco, Mark. And if Arrow will continue to go to the body, I don't think this fight is going to last more than two or three rounds. Final seconds. Time. Round two. As we mentioned earlier, Ted, 13 of Spence's knockouts have come in three rounds or less. A very impressive second round for Spence. 18 body shots landed by Spence in the second round, Ray. And you know he, get, he gets that from his amateur background, knowing exactly how to execute a punch, to deliver the proper punch, to stay on balance. Get off the this is not an Olympic. Uh, Four. Looking wobbly. Five. He's Six. telling the official Seven. Robert Bird hey, that he's all show right. Me something. You understand? Yeah, yeah. It was an accumulation of punches. He's put them together quite well. Body shots, head shots, all inside. And again, Spence to the head. Lots of time remaining. Two minutes to go in this third round. You can see that LaGreco is wobbly. Understandably. Spence is not rushing. He's taking his time. He's picking his shots. Very impressive. You know, this is what we talked about yesterday. Everybody said, who has Spence fought? Uh, you know, who has he beat? And as he moves up in opposition, you're going to see Spence continue to do this to uh, high-level boxers. And Spence looking to conclude matters here in round three. Oh, right hand by LaGreco got in. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Another right hand by Spence. LaGreco's in bad, bad shape here, Marv. Referee needs to take a real good look or just a good punch or two away from Spence ending things. Coming up on a minute to go in this third round. It's all Spence and it's all wow. over. I think it's a great stoppage there, Marv. LaGreco is in a lot of trouble against the ropes. Spence was teeing off. LaGreco wasn't responding. Good stop for Robert Bird. Well, Spence told me that he wanted this to be his coming out party. <laughs> I would say he did that without question. Very impressive stoppage. Arrow, the truth, Spence, now 17-0, 14 by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the ring, referee Robert Bird steps in, calls a halt to the contest, official time, 1 minute 50 seconds into round number three, the winner by TKO Arrow, the truth, Spence Jr.